Okay, anime history of Poland starting now. So we're looking again about 1,000 years of history condensed to eight minutes. Wow. I know Paul is known for his valleys, so that makes a lot of sense. Wow. The animations are captivating. Also Polska, so that's Europe there. Okay, so 966 Christianity came into Europe. That's the previous religion finished. So Christianity has been there what, for about a thousand years. Oh, so Poland had a royal family. I never knew that. Right, so that's the expansion of Poland. A lot of battles happening here. Also, oh, this is a thousand to one thousand one hundred years. Wow. That's Crusaders, it looks like. The Knights. Then they're stopping invaders over there. Oh, some huge fire there. It looks like the city's been burnt. A lot of men died. A lot of men. And then, what, this is nearly 200 years later? They're coming back, they're rising up again. There's itself a new army. Still got the royal family there. Got like an eagle emblem. Is it eagle? Okay. Oh, that's amazing that. Wow. There's some sort of parliament or some sort of philosophers conference. Okay, 1364 we're on now, people. It's moving fast enough to keep up with it. Wow. Look at the architecture. So now it's a lot bigger than initial initially set up about when it when they started around nine hundred. What's this? It's expanding. Wow. Now we're on a different scale. Wow. It looks like a big war's going happening here now. Also, the huge trading posts in history. Look at the architecture. I wonder if some of them buildings still survive today. I recognize that cross. That was the Eastern Orthodox Church cross. Also, they started moving more towards the West. Is that trading with the West, Western Europe? Brilliant. Wow. So, so far what we learned, Poland started off very small, going to 900 AD, and then they expanded further to the east, started trading with the West. I didn't know if Eastern Orthodox Church was present in Poland. And looking at the map now, it seems like they really did expand. It seems like they were a huger country than they are now. I'm not... I'm Probably I'm wrong, but it looks like we've gone up into Russia over here. Nearly half it's through it. Well, it seems that like many battles are going on. It's a country of strong men. Definitely strong men. You saw them have the early battles. And then they went into more of the knight's armour. And a lot more metal was present later on. Entry point of Europe from what I remember in history. Okay, start. Wow. Sixteen eighty three. Wow, some huge battles happening here. This is like a huge this is a massive war this. Okay, some victory. So it doesn't look about victory on the side, expanding further. Great architecture once again. 
So this is our royal family up until this point. Okay, so the rich are getting richer. And now, oh, so the other empire moving in, taking over Poland. So it's getting Poland's getting smaller. Also, Poland was a huge country. Wow. I think this is getting close to modern times now. 1797. Okay. Seems like some sort of revolution, rebellions happening. No longer are we on the crusader style battles. 007 espionage type of stuff going on now. So it's a rebellion against the monarchy, I'm assuming. This video is going deeper and deeper into it. Okay, let's carry on. Eighteen thirty, eighteen sixty-three. Oh, it's gunpowder now. Our rifles were used. The arts, the literature advanced. Okay, railway. Oh, railway. Again, hit the ground, 8, 1918. Wow. Oh, Soviet Union. Okay, the Soviet Union moved in. And they took a huge chunk all the way to Warsaw. So it was Poland under Soviet occupation. All right, that's an industrialization. Oh, Poland did some huge manufacturing of boats. Coming into modern times. I bet some of these buildings survived. We've got very deep into Poland's history. It seems like a country with a lot of rich culture. World War Two, okay, 1939, yeah, World War Two with Germany. I remember studying this for GCSE. Wow. He really went through a tough time in World War II. Alright, they made over the Soviet Union, but I'm sure they still took a big holocaust. Mm. Huge dog fight. Oh, amazing! Look at the animation on that! Just amazing! I mean, I completely forgot about World War II. Considering we started off on 900 AD, but World War II, from what I've studied about Poland, they went through a lot of traumatic times in that period. In comparison to other European countries, I think it did suffer. It suffered a lot of loss, a lot of loss. A lot. Of, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of the old architecture was destroyed in the war. Did you see that? I mean, the animation they made Nazi Germany. Destroyed a lot of Poland. I mean, they just bombed the hell out of it. And at that moment, Poland seemed like he was on his own against this mighty mean machine. But through the axes and the joint efforts of Europe, they took out the evil Nazis. Yeah, Poland, yeah. So that's the current flag of Poland now. Okay, so Stalin's pictures coming up. Oh, right, right, right. Soviets. They build the country. People are going back to work now. Revolutions are happening, new government. The Christian Foundation. I know they're very faithful, religious people, the people of Poland. Standing up. Standing up against the dictatorship? Okay. This must be the UN. Some agreement signed in the UN, is it? Coming close to modern time. Oh, now look at it. Yeah. 
Wow. Stunning the. And now the power of the European Union. And Poland. Take about Poland. Poland has deep, deep history. Poland Expo 2010 Shanghai. Okay, people. That was a very interesting video. In, in eight minutes, there's a lot. The country's got a lot of history, so I'm going through here. Which is... Uh, the history of Poland. I mean, what I'm in, really interested in knowing the royal families of Poland. Capital of Warsaw, official language of Poland. 98% Poles. That video started around the ninth, uh, I mean the tenth century. So Poland began to form into a recognizable unitary, unitary territorial entity around the middle of the tenth century under the Piast dynasty. Oh, so when they were showing the crown, the king being crowned, it was from the from that dynasty. So these are different points of history. Ah, see, at one point they mentioned in, they showed in the video where they went from paganism to Christianity. There's so much in that video. See, look, in the south, Poland confronted the Ottoman Empire and the Crimea, Crimean Tatars, and in the east, helped Lithuania to combat Russia. I'm sure at one point, was it 19, before, around 1939 or before that, King Johnson defeated the Ottoman Turks. Partitions. In 1772 is when the partition started taking the first partition by Prussia. Russia and Austria took place. Polish people rose several times against the partition. So, all right. So, the partition of Poland was a, a popular, popular movement amongst the people. So let's look at the partitions of Poland. Like this. The Polish is really common. Wow, Poland was huge. All of this. All of this of Poland. Was it? The part yeah, the partition of Poland. So all this historically was all Poland. So would you say the people living in these areas are Poles. Alright, it's been an interesting day. Then I've got a lot more to learn. Thank you very much. Make some more recommendations, please.